so hello everyone it's me again so this video is to show you about our multi vendor add-on of Turfic. I would say our add-on still has a lot to improve but this is the basic what we have launched recently and more and more features will be available in future so if you are an existing client if you want to install the uh, vendor add-on you have to go to uh, our client portal click download and you should see this toolfig vendor.zip file on your client portal and just download it and install it as a plugin from here we already installed it here so if once you install it so this is our toolfig vendor reporting section so here you will see the total payouts to vendor so this is the reporting of the admin so he will see how much he paid how much total payout this month and total order amount of this month and total earning of vendors and this is the reporting and on vendor section you will see the, an admin will see all the vendor available vendor listing with their name email phone number total earnings total withdrawal joining death and status and here you can also add a new vendor if you want so you can do that from here and you can also set a custom commission for the vendor and on the commission sections you will see uh, total order order type booking date total order amount admin commission vendor amount and action um, and on the payout request uh, you can you will see all the payout requests and you can also create a new payout request so we have added so this request is basically manual so you have to manually pay the vendor and also ma mark this as complete on the back end we'll show you live demo once i am i go through all the features and on the settings panel there is a multi vendor settings and here you will see all the actions like you can enable vendor registration uh, automatic approval so if you enable automatic approval once a vendor completes his registration he will get an access automatically otherwise if you turn this off a vendor has to get uh, permission to get accepted uh, registration form pop-up so it will trigger a registration form pop-up instead of a form uh, email verification if you want vendor to be verify their email and partner post is so if you enable this a vendor will not be able to publish their hotels on tours unless you approve we will turn this off for now and here is the commission so this is the commission like how much commission you as an admin will get from each of the vendor selling so if you set 30 percent so if say, a vendor hotel is hundred dollars so you will get thirty dollars and the vendor will get seventy and this is the global commission you can set individual commission uh, from each vendor setting so you can set individual vendor commission for each vendors um, on the vendor dashboard we have all these upcoming features so configuration partner profiling show this so these will be uh, front-end options so we are working on the front end as of this video and here we can show show booking history of partners and show inquiry okay so um this one we currently all the book so if we enable this a vendor will be able to see all the booking information and all the inquiry we are we are most we will most probably be releasing if uh, the options so that each vendor will see only his booking story and only his inquiry so this will be released soon now let's go to the next option which is the withdrawal option so all these options are basically coming in so minimum withdrawal request date of successful current payment allow request withdrawal and on the social login options we will be coming in with social logins for now google login and then gradually we'll be adding other options for vendors and this is the custom registration field so on the registration field if you want to add any custom uh, fields you can add from here uh, so you just have to create so let's say we want to add a field called address and we can name it say, say tf address and it's a text field 
and if you want to leave a placeholder add your address and this is a required field and we click save create our vendor registration page so we have to create a new page now if we look this page from a private window so this is our vendor so let's say we name it vendor one we are using this email so if we submit so the registration is successful uh, as we are on local so we had to disable the email verification because from local we cannot send email so the vendor is now automatically approved because we have enabled automatically approved and we, he didn't have to verify the email so if we now go to vendors so as you see here is our vendor so if we click edit we can now edit his name and everything the other information here so this is from an admins perspective so now let's log in as vendor So now I am now logged in as vendor and here you can see we have the options to upload hotels and tours. Uh, for now the vendor don't have other options available because we will be adding those options gradually. So on the profiling so vendor can upload his profile from here we will be adding um, front-end options so the vendor can upload his information from the front end for now, for now everything is based on back end so let me add a new hotel now let's try to publish this hotel so we have to add a location so this is one two three abc road so let me upload an image now let's publish our hotel okay so we have to select a location now if we go to the front end let's try to book so we have cash on delivery okay I have now placed an order now let me go back and log in as admin so if I go to orders so here is an order as this is a cash on delivery order basically pay later order so we have to manually approve this if it's an automatic payment so it will be automatically completed now if we go to vendors so as you see the vendors total earning is 14 and total withdrawal is zero and on commission so we this is the order id and order tab is hotel and total order amount is 20 dollars and because we said 30 percent commission so as an admin we will be getting six dollars and this is the vendor amount to be paid now if we go to reports 
so as you see total order of this month 20 total earning 6 no payout as of yet so if we now go to create a payout request so selecting vendors so as you see this will show the total pay due amount and we can set a payment dates as say one three the payment method is let's say paypal so payout is added so we have added the payout and if we now approve this because let's say we have already paid and i'm approving this okay so this vendor is now paid now if we go back to add a payout request you will see no payment amount is now due so if we now go to reports so you see total payout is 14 and if we go to vendors so total earning is now zero because we have already shown the total withdrawal and commission is as usual so that's basically the tour of our multi-vendor add-on uh, gradually we'll be adding more options and we'll be creating new videos so link of those videos will be adding on the description below so look for those videos for further updates let us know in the comments if you have any questions. Thank you.